Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the 20th episode of the RPG tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be dealing with setting upper and lower body uh, blends for animations. It's pretty simple to set up, but basically what this will do, say if for our animations, for example, we set them up with root motion, this enabled, because you notice that the uh, character moves a little bit with the animation. So that when we attack, or I'm holding forward and it's just using the motion of the animation. That's just all done by the animation itself. Rather me controlling it, but say you have some animations that you don't want to do that. And you, or they don't use root motion. You can disable that simply by doing that. And But you notice that for that attack your legs will slide across the ground. To fix that, or to allow us to use upper and lower body animations, we'll want to go into our animation, go to our track, or we we'll want to go into, not our animation, sorry, our montage for our specific attack we want to set up that way. Without root motion, we want to, uh, apparently I already have an upper body slot. I'm assuming that's from one of the other animations that I added in previously. If you don't have one, you can go to the uh, slot manager, you click the default slot group, and you add a slot, and you just type in upper body. And I'll just use a new one, and I'll and I'll show you how to do to delete that one. Actually, if you want to delete some of those slots that are being brought in from other animations, so uh, upper body slot, click enter, and now you have your now you have your new slot created. None of these are actually in use as far as I know. So I'm just going to right click and delete upper body slot. Okay, so apparently it's in use in a few of these animations. So apparently I created the upper body slot. Not the, so it's the other ones that I didn't create, I guess, such as the uh, full body slot, which comes from some of the ALS animations in the turn in place as well. You want to delete that. If you want to delete these, you can just delete it, and you have to select all the slots. I'll just click this, and it'll bring it to the specific animation, and you want to go to slot name and just set the default. Don't worry about that. It, once you reopen the animation, it will unfreeze, and you can just go through every one and set them the default slot. And then once you have got rid of every one instance of that slot, you can go back and delete it, and it will allow you to remove that. But for now, we're going to set up the new upper body slot that we created. Or actually, I'm just going to delete this one and use the one that I created previously since it's set up on other animations as well. So you want to set your animation to upper body slot. And then you want to go into your animation folder, animation blueprint. And here in your animation graph, you want to go down to your output pose. And you want to copy this because you're going to need another instance. Drag out from this and search for slot and just pull the default slot out for now. And when you have this clicked, you can see the details for it over here. And you want to click your upper body slot that you just created or that was already there if there is one there. Because neither of them are in use yet. Or, and neither is a turn in place or that uh, full body slot. You can actually delete those with the method that I showed you a minute ago. Um, from here, you want to drag out and go layered blend per bone. And you want this one actually plugged into the bottom. And the, this one plugged into the top. And the way this will work is this will be the upper body and this will be the lower body blend. So you want to open up your layer blend per bone and click the plus on in your layer setup and open it up to, to your bone name. Type in spine underscore 01 and we'll blend it through three and mesh scale split mesh space scale blend 
chip take that. And I think that can remain the same. So you plug this in. Compile and save. And now we should have for that attack, it should blend for the leg animations. Yes. Now we can swing as we're walking. And any animation you want to have for that to work with, you simply just set the on the montage, set the upper body slot to the upper body, and this will allow any montage that runs through here and has the upper body slot set to it to be set like that. The reason I decided to do that in this video was mainly because in the next video we're going to set up the equip and unequip and that will be using montages and one of the things I noticed was it looks really bad when the player can't move and is performing is equip and unequip. So I decided I would quickly slip this one in and so it, we can use that in the next video. So I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or join my Discord channel. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.